Pro Tools Atmos sessions can be passed back and forth with relative ease, including using the object fold-down functionality if Dolby Production or Mastering Suite are unavailable. This means everyone in the production chain, sound designers, dialogue editors, music editors, composers, can easily contribute panning information for the Atmos mix. Once we have a session final mixed for the Dolby Atmos format, you will almost certainly need to deliver that mix to another facility or to content providers. The Dolby Atmos master file is made up of audio and various metadata which is created by the Dolby Production Suite or Mastering Suite. After creating the master file, the final files you supply will depend on what the content provider requires. However, the first steps towards the delivery are similar, so let's start there. Assuming the other connections mentioned in the previous videos have been made, create a new master file. While its use depends on the requirements of delivery, the FFOA setting makes a marker to indicate the first frame of action so that audio and video have a start reference. Naming of this file is likely to have very specific requirements for delivery depending upon the outlet. When running the production suite alongside Pro Tools Ultimate in a single system or in a Dolby Atmos Mastering Suite external rendering system, you'll need to be able to keep them running in sync with each other. In the Dolby Atmos production suite, the LTC plugin within Pro Tools takes advantage of the additional channels via the Dolby Audio Bridge. With the mastering suite, LTC is generated from the Pro Tools Sync HD, which then drives the Dolby Atmos mastering suite hardware on another computer. Loudness meeting requirements have been introduced into almost all streaming and broadcast outlets to help ensure consistent listening levels across different material. Loudness metering and report export functions are included in the latest versions of the production suite and mastering suite. These are valuable tools to ensure your mix will be replayed as intended within the requirements of delivery. In order to record your master file in either the production or mastering suite, you can set in and out points or simply press record once the software is receiving time code information. Once you've reached the end of the manually set times or stop record, three files are then created in the directory you set up for the master file, .atmos, .audio, and .metadata files. The Dolby Atmos master file is the format of the production or mastering suite capture. ADM files are an industry standard broadcast WAV file that has additional data for panning, channel, and object information. Check your delivery requirements, as some may require the Dolby Atmos master file which contains the .atmos, .audio, .metadata files, or other deliveries may require an ADM file. ADM files are very useful in either case for backups that can be re-imported into Pro Tools or delivered to other systems in a single file while retaining audio channel and panning information. Once a master file has been created, ADM files can be exported by converting the master file from the export audio menu in the Atmos renderer software. With the Dolby Atmos Mastering Suite, you are able to create downmixes to other surround formats or re-renders as they are referred to in the Dolby software in real time. You can record or monitor them by creating either custom or preset re-renders and routing them as needed. This allows you to check and record multiple formats as you work. As more traditional formats, such as stereo, 5.1, or 7.1 may be also required as deliverables, this is a very fast and convenient method to produce them without having to do multiple mix versions. You can also perform offline re-renders of a master file to the format set up in the re-renderer window using the Export Audio to Re-Renders option. Dolby Atmos master files and the ADM file have become the delivery type of choice for many premium streaming services for both film and music and this is likely to expand as more services adopt this exciting technology.